Lyme disease is the most common tick-borne disease in the U.S. and cases are increasing. Now researchers are looking for volunteers in the U.S. and Europe to test a new vaccine to prevent Lyme disease. Michael George has more. When Robert Terwilliger heard about a study testing a vaccine for Lyme disease, he rolled up his sleeve. He enjoys hunting and hiking. I'm hoping it works this way. I, I won't have no worries, you know. I can go out in the woods and enjoy myself, and, and if I find a tick on me, I'm, okay, I'm good. I don't have to worry about anything, you know, because um, it, it's always a worry. U.S.-based Pfizer and a French biotech company developed the experimental vaccine known as VLA-15, which aims to block a tick from transmitting the infection when it bites. It's a vaccine that's designed to prevent Lyme disease, caused by the six most common types of, um, of Lyme bacteria um, in both the U.S. and Europe. Deer ticks carry the bacteria that causes Lyme. Symptoms include fever, headache, fatigue. For some, the first sign is a red, round bullseye rash. Infection can spread to joints, the heart, and the nervous system if not treated. CDC estimates suggest around 476,000 people get Lyme disease each year in the U.S. Researchers hope to enroll at least 6,000 people in areas where Lyme disease is common, such as the Northeast. Volunteers can be as young as five years old. Ever since we learned of this trial several months ago, we've had people on a waiting list waiting to be notified. So absolutely, we have people who are interested. In earlier studies, the companies reported a good immune response and no problems with safety. The next phase will test if the vaccine is effective and safe. Michael George, CBS News, New York. Participants will receive three doses between now and next spring and then a booster a year later. Still ahead here at noon, it's National S'mores Day. Just wait until you see what we're whipping up. You better bring a few extra napkins.